target coming your way! Welcome back Autobots, Decepticons, and everything in between to another episode of Fixing Transformers. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at how Sideways appeared in Transformers Dark of the Moon. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, if you don't remember who Sideways was, I don't blame you. Sideways was the Audi R8 Decepticon who ran away from the RC triplets, and later got killed by the Autobot Sideswipe. But though we clearly see him die, he appears in Transformers Dark of the Moon just to get killed again by Optimus. And that's really all that we know about him. But what he lacks in screen time, he makes up in backstory, since he's a pure creation of product placement. You see, when Audi was looking to score some screen time for one of its cars, they found an opportunity to show off the Audi R8 in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. As we know, that car would be casted as sideways. Thus, Sideways became the only car Transformer in a movie whose alternate mode was not manufactured by General Motors. But due to licensing issues with Audi and the 09 Rider Strike, Sideways' role was dramatically altered, and at one point was taken out of the script. Originally, Sideways was going to escape from the Autobots by using Demolisher as a distraction. After Demolisher's death, however, Sideways would have been cornered and engaged by Sideswipe in robot mode. At this point, it would have been Sideways and not Demolisher who would have said the Fallen's name. Ultimately, the scene was never finished, Audi backed out of the deal, and the scene was rewritten to focus on Demolisher. Audi later decided that they did want their product featured, so a pre-visualization animation of Sideswipe bisecting a Lamborghini was remade to feature the Audi R8. Hence why there is a concept art of Sideways as a Lambo. So if you ever wondered why his role was so short, that's the reason why. But though we clearly see him die on screen, and not to mention his corpse explodes, how come he appears in Dark of the Moon? Well, the real world reason is that they wanted more cons for Optimus to kill. So they slipped in sideways a CGI model thinking none of us would notice. But the in-universe explanation has been pondering us fans for literally a decade now, so I think it's time to answer. As you may know in my previous videos regarding reused character models, I like to tie them back to their original character. Since, in my opinion, it's more fun to give them extra lore even if they do end up being killed a second time. Though I was able to make a solid theory for Blackout, Bonecrusher, and Brawl, for Sideways here, I just can't since he gets sliced down the middle and literally explodes. So then, who is the Sideways imposter? Well, the first thing that may come to mind is a Transformer who scanned the same alternate mode. And though this sounds good on paper, I have to disagree, since the Dreads all turn into Chevy Suburbans, but they all have unique robot modes. The Constructicon clones also may come to mind, but as I explained in my Constructicon Misconceptions 2.0 video, they are quite literally clones of Mixmaster, Scrapper, and Longhaul. Personally, I don't think the Decepticons would clone sideways, since he's a generic scout. But if they did, we should have seen multiple of him during Dark of the Moon. So this really leaves us with one thing, the body types theory. I came up with the body types theory a while back to explain why some Transformers look very similar, but are completely different characters. A key example would be Onslaught and Long Haul, and I think this sideways look-alike was a result of this. Now, only three characters come to mind, Dead End, Recluse, and Override. Now, each of these three characters share the same body type as sideways, with Dead End of course being the most famous one due to the comics. But remember, those comics are not canon to the Bayverse. But as for Recluse, he doesn't have that much of a bio. Besides being described as very fast and being more than a perfect match for Sideswipe, Override on the other hand did not get a bio on his box. But when someone at BotCon 2010 brought this up to product designer Joe Kide, who designed Override, he mentioned that he considered Override to be a female character when he designed her deco, which makes Override one of the few Decepticon fembots in the Bayverse. With that said, each of these guys have an equal shot at being the Sideways imposter. So at this point, it's really up to your own headcanon to decide which one became the Sideways Imposter. I personally think it's Dead End, so I'll be referring to him as the Imposter for the rest of the video. 
With that said, we still have one question to answer. Why did Deden decide to change his appearance to look like Sideways? Well, I think the reason was after learning about the horrific way Sideways died, Dead End became enraged and wanted to avenge Sideways' death, vowing to kill any Autobot that came his way until his dying breath. He would then convert himself to look like Sideways. So when he would kill an Autobot, the last thing they would see was Sideways' face. Now you may be saying trance. Transformers can't change their appearance to look like another robot. Well, to that I say take a look at Topspin in Transformers The Last Night. As we see, he clearly has Leadfoot's head, while two films earlier, he had his own head. The reason for this is that after Leadfoot was killed by Cemetery Wind, Topspin wanted to honor his brother-in-arms. So he converted his head into Leadfoot's as a tribute to his fallen friend. If that doesn't satisfy you, Laser Beacon, Dark of the Moon, was able to turn himself into a pink bumblebee imposter in order to sneak into the Singer residence and kill Bob Singer. So with that in mind, Cybertronians have the ability to change their appearance into other Cybertronians. And, with Dead End already sharing Sideways' body type, I think it's pretty clear that he could easily change his appearance to look like Sideways. Now, the reason why I gave him that vow is because it represents what the Sideways imposter did in Dark of the Moon. For the very short time we saw him, he had no fear when facing the Autobot army. He never backed down and literally fought till his dying breath standing up to and ultimately getting killed by the Autobot leader himself. A cool thing about Dead End is that his weapon of choice seems to be a double barrel shotgun, due to how he holds the weapon, and what appears to be two barrels. Alternatively, it could be the same weapon that Decepticon Protoform in the building had, along with the Silverado Decepticon, but their barrels are vertical on their rifles, so either he has a shotgun, or he's holding the rifle gangster style. And, just like that, that was why there was a sideways imposter in Transformers Dark of the Moon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have not already, check out the Fixing Transformers playlist for some more awesome theories. But before I go, I want to say thank you to all my Patreons and channel members for supporting the channel. Without you guys, trans theories would not be where it is today, so thank you. If you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like because it helps my channel a lot. With that said, keep on theorizing.